to assemble the almond pear tart. So just to show you um, what I have. My uh, short dough that's been thoroughly chilled, wrapped in plastic in the refrigerator. I've taken it out and um, let it warm up a little bit. My oven is preheated to 350. I have my almond cream, which I've also taken out of the refrigerator so it can uh, soften up a little bit um, and be easier to spread into the tart. My poached pears. Uh, tart pan, if you're using one. Uh, tart pan will go on the sheet pan. If you're just doing the free form tart, which would be, um, other, or the galette, um, you don't need the tart pan, um, but you'll bake your galette on your sheet pan. Some flour for dusting when I roll my tart dough, rolling pin, and offset spatula. And then I'll a uh, cutting board and a chef's knife to cut the pears in a minute. But first, I'm gonna roll my tart dough get everything else out of the way. I have my flour for dusting. Have your tart pan nearby so you can um, see how large of a piece of tart dough you need to roll in order to accommodate your tart pan. The tart dough that we made um, is probably enough dough to make two tarts, two eight or nine inch tarts. Um, for that reason, I'm not going to roll this whole piece. I'm going to cut mine in half, um, which I think will be enough for my, I think this is an eight inch tart pan. It might be a nine inch, um, but that should be enough. Okay, so the other part of the tart dough I will put away. If I need it, I can use it. Have my flour. Again, just flick of the wrist to very lightly dust your work surface to keep the tart dough from sticking. Dust on the top too. Now, um, my tart dough has been out for about 10 or 15 minutes while I warmed up the oven. So it's a little firm. I'm gonna soften it up a little with my hands. When you see the cracks start to form in the short dough, try to pinch it together. This dough is very different than the pie dough. Um, you can roll it and re-roll it and keep using it and it doesn't lose um, the quality of it. Unlike the pie dough that you only wanted to roll it once or twice. Um, the, the other difference with the short dough, unlike the pie dough, is the short dough can easily uh, be mended together with other, if you do have cracks or you need to roll it in pieces and sort of seam it together. Um, that's difficult with the pie dough because of the nature of it, but the short dough you can do. Okay, so now that I've got it a little warm, a little soft with my hands, I'm gonna start rolling. As I see it start to stick to the uh, rolling pin, I'm gonna dust more. There's a lot of butter, a lot of eggs and cream in here, um, which make for, uh, all of that fat makes for a dough that can tend to be sticky. Okay, so you just wanna make sure it's not sticking to your work surface and not sticking to your rolling pin. With your offset spatula, Go under the dough and make sure, keep turning it a quarter of a turn so that you're always stretching the dough equally in each direction. It's not getting stretched too much lengthwise or widthwise, which would cause shrinkage when it bakes. We want it nice and even in every way. As I see these cracks start to form around the edges, like I said, pinch those together. Um, the quicker you get to the cracks and keep the dough in one piece, the less problem you're gonna have. Now, as it starts to get larger, my goal is to try to make a round 
a, a nice circular piece of dough so it will fit properly into my tart pan. Um, the tart dough can be slightly thicker than the pie dough. With the pie dough, we were going for about an eighth of an inch thick. With the tart dough, you can go a little bit under a quarter of an inch, okay? So a, a little bit thicker. Keep it moving. Again, I go under with the... Guys, you take your tart pan, put it on tarp, top of the dough, um, and you can see my tart pan is about three quarters of an inch deep. So I will need to have, in addition to the diameter of the tart pan, I'll need um, a ring that's about at least three quarters of an inch all the way around. It looks like I just about have that. I'm gonna give it one more quick. Okay, now, Watch how I do this, move this over here. I think you guys can see that. Dust a little more because I'm going to use my rolling pin to roll up my dough. Gently lay it in the tart pan. I'm gonna move it over, so move the flour so you guys can see that. Very gently go around in a circle using your thumb and fingers. Gently relaxing the dough into the bottom edge or corner of the tart pan. You want to get it in there nicely so you have a nice shaped tart that's all the way down in the corner, but do this without stretching the dough. Okay, now I'm going to show you. Okay, so I've got it all the way down there. As you do this, you don't want to press too hard in one, any one area um, that would result in making the tart dough thinner in that spot. You, you want to try to keep an even thickness of the tart dough. Okay, so now that I have these edges, the easiest thing to do, just take the palm of your hand Go around the top edge of the tart pan and the dough, press on it, and the top of the, the top of the tart pan and your uh, palm of your hand, cut the dough. This is all now scrap. I'll take that off of there. And then you have your perfectly or very nicely formed dough inside your tart pan. Now what I want to, there's one part here where it came a little shy. I want you to see that right there. Now this is what I was uh, mentioning earlier. The beauty of the tart dough is that it can mend nicely. So I'm going to take a little bit of my scrap that's already rolled. I'm going to cut a straight edge on it. Take this little scrap, and if you can see right here where I'm a little shy on dough, I'm gonna fit that in. Just press with my fingers, my thumb. Those two, that little scrap uh, mends together with the rest of the tart dough. Put my hand down, and there you have it. That part is now uh, has been um, taken care of. So when the, the tart is finished, I won't have a low spot there on the crust. Okay, so you can see the mending on the inside, but after it's baked and it's removed from its tart pan, you're not gonna see that. Okay, so there we have that. Now, the scraps, these don't have to be thrown away. These can be, uh, brought together with your hand, rewrapped, chilled, and can be re-rolled for more tarts. I'll set that aside. Okay, so next step, get your almond cream. Again, this has been out of the cooler, so it's not rock hard with my offset spatula. 
take the almond cream and gently spread it on the bottom of the tart. Now you do want it to be soft, the almond cream to be soft. If it were rock hard and you tried to spread like this, it would tear your tart dough. The other thing is be careful that um, your offset spatula is not a knife, but the, if you um, came too close or, or got the offset spatula torn into the side of your tart dough, it would cut your tart dough and you don't want to do that. So I'm very gently just spreading it. You want, um, you want to spread, I would say about a quarter of an inch. The recipe of almond cream may uh, twice as much as you'll need for a tart this size. Okay, so don't use all of it, it will be too thick. But about a, a nice quarter of an inch, even layer all around your tart is just perfect. Okay, so that goes down before the pears. So that's ready, I'm gonna set that aside. Now, let's get our pears. So I have the poached half pears. Okay, they're in my poaching liquid. They were chilled overnight with a uh, slotted spoon. Take them out, put them on the cutting board. With some paper towel, you can sort of blot them and get some of the uh, syrup off of them because you don't want all that liquid in your tart. Get the bottom. Okay, so dry them off a little bit. And I'm gonna show you, I like to slice. You can, there's different ways uh, you can design your tart. I like to do, this. I'm going to do that for all of them. Pears are sliced. Move them over here. Get my tart. Using your offset spatula. Place them in and then I give them a little push. Just push it down to kind of fan them out. If your pears are too long for your tart, you might pull a couple of the end pieces off like I'm doing. Now the almond cream has a lot of egg in it. Um, so one of the reasons I didn't want to go too thick with the filling um, in the tart is because of the egg, it's going to puff up quite a bit. Okay, and you'll see after this is baked. So there, there we have that. Let me just even that one out. I'm gonna take this guy off. And now this is ready to bake.